Hello, I'm Kyle. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to use the parallel function for both the air heavy the inverter. This one is the air fabric or the heavy the inverter. Yes. And this second one also is fabric the watch. And this one is the third one, fabric the watch. Okay, let's see. If you want to use the parallel mode, you go to the advanced function. Press the, the down arrow button. Down arrow, down arrow. And we, we click the parallel and the switch. And we need to we need to use one piece of the hybrid motor as the master. And we choose uh, is the motor bus our address is zero one. It means the bus. Uh, this one is the master hybrid. The, the we use the uh, uh, power in the same phase, same phase system. Also, we go to this one. This one we click the runs. Also, we need to click the payroll and then we choose the A phase because this is a single phase system. And then here we choose the slave. And then we see that the address is zero two. It means that this, yeah, this one is a slave. Also, let's move to the third one. To the last function. Down area. Payroll. A phase and the slave. And in the parallel system, each hybrid inverter, the PV, uh, the PV connection is separately. As we can see, this one, the master, uh, connected the PV, and the, the current PV is 287 volts. And uh, the signal one, the slave, don't connect to the PV. And the third one, the slave is also is didn't connect to the PV. And in the parallel system, uh, the battery states will be saved. 97% that I don't see. This is the grid cable it used to connect to the grid. And this cable this this two cable two cables. Um, come to the, the second one, hybrid inverter, the grid, the grid port. And then the, another set of grid, grid cable connect to the third one. We come to here. And then the another set of grid cable. It's this one, this one is the this one is connected to the, the circuit break and then connected to the grid. Also, here is the load port. The load port also are connected together. This one. And then it comes to the second one. They come to, they come to here. And then they come to Come to here. The loader cable also connect uh, together. Also, the, the battery is uh, connected together. The three pieces have really inverter share one piece of the battery. Here is the battery cable. The, the red, the red one is the uh, positive, the uh, black one is the uh, negative, and then you come to the signal one. Yes, the signal one, the signal one is uh, the signal one and uh, come into this one. This one connected to the, the signal one, this is the third one. And also the another the another uh, battery terminal cable is connected to uh, this battery. <coughs> now also we need to use the uh, parallel communication cable. So we can see it, uh, it tells the parallel to, in each hybrid there was a two port for the parallel. 
and then get it to here. And then we go to here. Because we use the uh, USB battery, so that we can use the uh, communication cable. If you uh, battery is lithium battery, you can choose uh, the CAN port or RS or RS or port. So you can see the this this hybrid, the master hybrid, uh, connect to the PV. And the current PV is 348 volts. And here's the grid power, 600, 675 volts. The audible power is almost 500 volts. Here is a slave one. The grid is charging the battery and power the load. Here is the third one. The grid uh, power the load and uh, charging the battery. Also, we use the parallel system. We need to make sure the, the working model is safe. You know, it's for the load. You know, it's for the load. You know, it's for the load. Also, you need to make sure the each uh, inverter is in the uh, same version, same as what is in the other one. Also, you just want to make the working order is very short to do. This one. And uh, also, we need to make sure the battery. Battery setting. We need to make sure each uh, uh, on each hybrid inverter the maximum charge current and the discharge current uh, kept the same. Current may be set uh, as the 10 approach. Also, uh, you can click the setup icon and go to the device information. In this page, you will see the inverter's ID. The serial number, no, and the HMI, this version is for the LCD version. And then this one is for the uh, control board version. And uh, when you see the parallel CAN bus port F29, it means the, uh, the communication between the, the master and the slave is failed. Now when, when, so, when uh, one of the hybrid inverter in the parallel system has a port, uh, it will, it will, re, they will report to F41, and it shows the parallel system stop.